What is going on guys, PZ with the Goatsy Gamers. Spider, and today we're doing a review on the Superboy Portable Pocket SNES Player. Uh, today on the review, we're going to be reviewing it in five categories. Each category has a maximum of five points for a grand total of 25 points. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the review of this console. Alright guys, this is the overview of the Superboy Portable SNES console. Um, as you see here, we got the packaging. It has Superboy all around the outside as well as Hyperkin if you flip it on over. It's got some dimensions and features. The features are stereo sound, AV output, headphone jack, rechargeable lion battery, adjustable volume. If you go on over to the dimensions, it has a screen size of 3.5 inches, measures 8.5 inches long by 4 inches tall and 2 inches deep, weighs 11.5 ounces. It's a little bit heavier when you have the battery inside. Down here is kind of like a manual, shows you what all the buttons do. What comes inside of this packaging? Well, inside of there is actually some manuals which I didn't want to take out. Also, it comes with a mini USB charger, you got your AV cables, your portable case, as well as the console itself. Now looking at the console, like we talked about, what well, we're going to talk about, the build quality is very nice. On the front you have your 3.5 inch screen, you have your directional pad, as well as your start and select button. On the right side you got your A, B, Y, and X buttons, your reset button. At the bottom, you have player one and player two ports. If I flip it to the top, you have your left and right buttons, as well as your mini USB charging port, your on and off switch, your AV out, as well as your cartridge slot there. If you flip it to the back, you have adjustable prongs, so you can adjust uh, the grip on the cartridge itself. Down here, you have your battery casing, and if you flip it to the bottom side, you have your headphones, your volume, and your LED light, which lights up when you're charging. That's the overview of the Superboy uh, portable pocket NES console. Our first category is build quality. In the hand it feels really good, it doesn't feel cheap. The buttons are actually, I believe they're from the actual controller itself, I heard it's from the actual controller itself. The only thing people have a problem is with the start and select button to reverse, but my uh, personal opinion, I don't really care because it's right here. Um, it feels really good in the hand, it sticks true to the the controller itself, so build quality, we gave it 5 out of 5. I'm going to be covering the video quality. For the video quality, we gave it a 4 out of 5. The main reason for that is because it's a really nice 3.5 inch screen, but um, one of the problems that we have with it, well it's not really a problem, it's kind of like a warning, but it is kind of a semi-problem, is when you get low on battery life, the screen actually flickers in and out, which uh, sometimes can get kind of annoying, especially you know, you know you're running out of battery, but the screen starts flashing and flickering and it's just, you know, takes away so we gave it a 4 out of 5 for the video quality. Not bad, it's still really, still really nice video though.
All right, the next category is audio quality. Uh, it's not the best, but it is pretty good. The, we turned the volume all the way up, and it's still pretty low, as well as there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We plugged in the headphone jack. You hear a slight buzz, but as you play the game, the audio pretty much takes over that buzz, so it's not really that noticeable. We gave the audio a 4 out of 5 because it is pretty low if you turn it all the way up, as well as putting headphones in, it's still pretty low. So for features, we gave the Superboy a 5 out of 5. Uh, it plays SNES games, it plays Super Famicom games, it has a TV output, it has two player uh, slots right here where you can plug in two controllers and play. You can play on this mini screen or you can plug it into the TV using these AV cables, plug it in right here on your top, plug it into your TV and you have a nice big size uh, screen playing two players. So it's not only a portable console but it's also a home console, uh, it takes up a low amount of space so it's kind of like a you know multi tasking console itself and it, at the same time it's portable so there you go. Our last category is price. This is available at many different uh, retailers. You can find it at Urban Outfitters, Hypercan, Amazon, basically anywhere online, your mom and pop shops. We gave the price a 5 out of 5 because it doesn't really, nothing really comes close to what this um, product can do itself. Like uh, Anthony said earlier, um, has two player output where you can uh, actually play on the screen. It feels really good in the hand. It's not really bulky. People think it's all oh, this is going to be a massive thing, but it's not. Uh, so we gave the price a 5 out of 5 because nothing really comes close to it. Alright guys, and for the overview of the Superboy Portable SNES console, uh, we gave it a 23 out of 25. That's with the tallying points. It lost points in video and audio because of the flickering screen and the low audio coming from the speakers as well as when you plug in the headphones. Um, but overall, you know, a 23 out of 25 is like, I'd give it, what, an A if you're getting a test or something like that. So uh, it receives, you know, high scoring by us. Um, we both have one, actually. And so, uh, you know, we have plenty of time to test it out, play with it. So we feel that that review is like a strong review with number-wise. So, um, so now that was our overview, I mean, a review. And uh, now we're going to get into some thoughts about the console itself. Lastly, our final thoughts on the product. I myself uh, love the product, uh, it took me back to my childhood playing some um, Super Nintendo games. I actually went out and bought a bunch of games because I could only find three of my old games. We went to swap meet, mom and pop shops to find games. Um, like you said earlier, we both have one, we couldn't decide who got to keep it so we actually went out and bought another one. Um, what are your thoughts on the product? Um, first of all, you know, I'd like to thank uh, Hyperkin for actually giving us a product to review. Like we said, we couldn't decide who was going to keep it because we live in separate households so we actually went out and bought a second one. Um, and you know we both had what over two weeks now to probably mess around with it we both went um, it was kind of a fun thing because we got to go I had games of my other house my parents brought those home but at the same time it kind of was like a fun thing to go hunting for games see what kind of stuff you could have because as a kid you went for like the mainstream games and when we went game hunting we kind of went for games that we probably wouldn't have picked up as a kid um, I know myself I like a lot of dirt bike games off-roading games so when we went out game hunting we actually found those kind of games and I picked them up and um, it's a cool experience my overall you know, experience with the product is was a lot of fun. Um, I played it a lot. Uh, I know he played it a lot. My girlfriend actually played it a lot. Um, Mario Kart, you know, is always fun on SNES games. So um, the battery life of the console itself lasts for like five. I'd say probably like five hours. It says like six hours on the on the packaging, but I'd, from personal experience, probably about five hours. Um, it has a long uh, battery life if you turn it off. I've had my console off probably for since GTA came out, uh, maybe like, I'd say probably four days since I've turned it on. And as you can still see, it's still got charge on it. So I don't know exactly how long of a charge because there's no indication of that, but it still has a charge on it. So it holds battery for a long time. Uh, if you're playing with it, you know, five hours is a long time. That'll get you from the East Coast to the West Coast, the West Coast to the East Coast, West Coast to Hawaii. If you go on vacation, on a plane, on a, you know, car ride, the console is going to be working for you. Um, it's not the smallest thing in the world, but it's not huge either, you know what I mean? It's not, I don't think you fit in your pocket unless you have a ginormous pocket, but um, you could throw it in a backpack, throw it in a handbag, your your Merce, whatever you have. Merce? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it is a portable console, so it works the same. One of the cool things, too, that we went over, I just want to go over it again, is if you have two controllers plugged in, you can actually play on this mini screen. So say you're in a car ride, you know, going wherever you're going, family vacation or whatever, you can plug two controllers in on a charged battery and have like Super Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or Mario or whatever party 
while you're going, and then when you get to your destination, if you have a TV, plug this in, plug it into the wall while you're charging, playing, and you have a console there with you. So, I mean, overall, it's a great product, and we want to thank Hyperkin again for giving us a console to review. Um, we both really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, this has been PZ with the Go-To Gamers. Better. And if you stuck with us this long, we really appreciate if you leave a like and a comment. As always, if you're not subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button. Our website link is in the description. Our Twitter link is in the description. Everything is in the description. Let us know if you uh, would like to pick one of these up or if you're interested in them or if you have one or your experience or if you're into retro gaming or if you want to see more retro gaming on the channel because now that we have these, we can actually do retro gaming. So pretty cool if you guys would allow us to upload some retro stuff. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.